The endangered Gemsbok is a beautiful antelope with a striking black and white face mask. Both sexes have long, sharply pointed horns that can extend almost four feet in length. The horns can be used for protection against predators such as lions, and when lowered parallel to the ground, can be lunged at an enemy with great accuracy. Gemsbok are very swift runners and can easily outpace potential predators such as African hunting dogs. They are well adapted to living in the arid areas of southwest Africa and can go for long periods of time without drinking. They are able to endure the extreme heat of their desert environment by avoiding overexertion, resting during the hottest times of the day and feeding at night or in the early morning hours when plants are likely to contain the most moisture. Their sandy gray coats offer them great camouflage and make them nearly invisible in their natural desert habitat. The Nile lechwe are one of the most aquatic of all the antelope species. Breeding males darken with age and become dark chocolate brown with a broad white saddle across the neck and shoulders. Their hindquarters are slightly higher than their shoulders and their hooves are long and splayed. Females, juveniles, and neutered males are chestnut in color with white underparts, face, and throat markings. As their name suggests, they inhabit the floodplains along the banks of the Nile River in Africa, where they move back and forth with the rising and falling of the annual floodwaters. They prefer to eat swampy grasses and aquatic plants that may only be intermittently exposed as floodwaters rise and recede. They are excellent swimmers and are often found grazing in water up to shoulder height. Although lechwe are relatively slow on land, no other antelope can run as fast through water or are as efficient in mud. If predators such as lions, leopards, hyenas, or wild dogs threaten them, they will escape to the water for safety. You should now be nearing a set of gates which will take you into the next preserve. If you have not yet reached the sign marked Gur Forest, please stop this recording now and restart it once you have reached that point. The endangered Gemsbok is a beautiful antelope with a striking black and white face mask. Both sexes have long, sharply pointed horns that can extend almost four feet in length. The horns can be used for protection against predators such as lions, and when lowered parallel to the ground, can be lunged at an enemy with great accuracy. Gemsbok are very swift runners and can easily outpace potential predators such as African hunting dogs. They are well adapted to living in the arid areas of southwest Africa and can go for long periods of time without drinking. They are able to endure the extreme heat of their desert environment by avoiding overexertion, resting during the hottest times of the day and feeding at night or in the early morning hours when plants are likely to contain the most moisture. Their sandy gray coats offer them great camouflage and make them nearly invisible in their natural desert habitat. The Nile lechwe are one of the most aquatic of all the antelope species. Breeding males darken with age and become dark chocolate brown with a broad white saddle across the neck and shoulders. Their hindquarters are slightly higher than their shoulders and their hooves are long and splayed. Females, juveniles, and neutered males are chestnut in color with white underparts, face, and throat markings. As their name suggests, they inhabit the floodplains along the banks. The preserve you have just entered, the Gur Forest, is named for the famous wildlife sanctuary found in western India. Its inhabitants include black buck, nilgai, and Asiatic water buffalo. These animals have a large territory in which to roam, so please be sure to look carefully around as you drive slowly through. That movement in the bushes you mistake for a gust of wind could very well be, if you look closer, a concealed animal. Remember, please drive very slowly. You will soon be passing through the gates to the Gorongosa Preserve, but you will return to further explore the Gur Forest in just a few minutes. You will probably notice an employee in a zebra-striped vehicle up ahead of you. They are there for your protection and for the protection of the animals in the surrounding preserve, in case they try to wander into the domain of His Majesty, the Lion. Yes, there are lions ahead. Please be sure that your windows and doors remain closed at all times. Lions can explode from a standing start and cover a hundred yards in a matter of seconds. As peaceful as they may look, please don't tempt them to display their incredible power. 
If you have not yet reached the gates, stop this recording now and restart it when you reach the other side. There are a few things you should know about lions. For instance, they are not jungle creatures. In Africa, they are usually found in open bush country or on the grassy plains called savannas. They sleep as much as 20 hours each day. Here at Lion Country Safari, you will often find them resting peacefully in the shade during the heat of the day. If you do stop to watch the antics of the lions or to take pictures, please pull over to the side of the road and make certain that you are not blocking anyone wishing to pass. among cats in that it is very gregarious, living in an ordered group called a pride. The pride has a very definite social structure and is dominated by one or more adult males. By the way, the male lions are the ones with the large mane of fur around their head and neck. The core of the pride is made up of several related adult females, some of whom may have cubs. Females tend to stay in the pride they are born into throughout their lifetime. Young males, however, are forced out of the pride by the breeding males who consider them to be future competition. These young bachelors then live solitary lives or may band together in small groups until they are old enough and strong enough to be able to take over a pride of their own. The structure of the pride offers some significant advantages to lions, one of the prime ones being protection of the cubs from other predators like hyenas and jackals. A second advantage is the opportunity to hunt for prey in groups. Lions are not very choosy eaters, but they do tend to prefer large herd animals such as zebra, wildebeest, and antelope. The females do the majority of the hunting for the pride and are very successful, catching prey in one out of every four attempts. They have excellent night vision and, although they will sometimes hunt during the day, the majority of the hunting is done at night when it is cooler. Once a kill has been made, the males usually demand to eat first and may consume as much as 70 pounds of meat at a single gorging. It is often thought that males live a pampered life within the pride, but this is actually not true. Males bear the responsibility of protecting the whole pride and for maintaining its territory. Heard from up to five miles away, the lion's roar is an awesome sound and is used to communicate territorial boundaries to other nearby prides. What can be better than waking up to the sound of a lion's roar? You can if you stay at our award-winning KOA campground. Amenities include a swimming pool, covered pavilion, volleyball and basketball courts, horseshoe pits, and shuffleboard. We have sites for RVs and tents, plus some cabins available to rent. For pricing information, stop by our main office or visit our website, www.lioncountrysafari.com. You should now be near